Thanks for staying with us here on News Prime. And it's time to bring you sports. My name is Hans Mensando. If I'm smiling, it's because there's something quite amazing going on at, at Anfield in the UEFA Champions League. And it is Liverpool who have clawed from three goals down. They lead 4-0 and 4-3 on aggregate in their semi-final of that UEFA Champions League. Divock Origi with a fourth goal for Liverpool at Anfield. We'll talk more a bit later on Fun Zone at 10 p.m. But let's get into boxing. And uh, it's five week for Emmanuel Roy. Um, Isaac Royal Storm, do we beg your pardon? And uh, his dad and trainer, Paul, is backing his son to exact revenge on um, Mexican boxer Emmanuel Navarrete. I keep telling my son this is his make and break time. You know, you either you know, make it big and bigger, more than money pack you and Mayweather, or, you know, you break. So all I can do is this, be in the training camp and make sure he's physically strong, spiritually sound, you know, and Come May 11th, we go and search and destroy Navarrete. It's going to be a great fight, you know, because, I don't, you see, there's something about this. You know, do you know that God is the greatest architect? Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Good. So I know what's going to happen. I, I, I see, I feel it. Because I haven't, in the Navarrete fight, I told Isaac that, I, I mean, in the hotel room, I was just tall throughout the fight. And then again, if you, this guy, um, was it, doctor, Dr. Agumanu also came from President Rollins's, and he also saw some signs. So before the fight, we, we all saw certain signs. And then my uncle, Uncle Mitch, Aborigine Resort, also sent me a text of my Tyson, um, of a video of my Tyson, and then um, Riddick Bo, when Riddick Bo destroyed my Tyson. So, and that sign too came in that same time we're discussing that mm -mm, this is not right. Because he also saw some signs, and they came. Paul, this is what I saw, uh, somebody else, somebody, you see, so God spoke to us before we even got there. And then the last, and not the least, was the one that my uncle sent from here, from Keta here, straight to America. The night before the fight, Riddick Bo and Tyson, you know, when Tyson got defeated, and my, but my uncle said to me, don't worry, you know, God will still be with you. Just tell Isaac we love him. <laughs> So that was Paul Dogbe, the father and trainer of um, Isaac Royal Storm Dogbe, who fights uh, Emmanuel Navarrete in a second showdown after losing his super WBO Super Bantamweight title um, to the Mexican boxer. Let's get into football and the crowds of folk who keep playing good football to attract the fans to the stadium. That was after the Phobians beat the West African Football Academy by four goals to nil in the Normalization Committee special competition over the weekend. Board member of the Phobians, Frank Nelson, says the club will repeat that performance to get a crowd back to the Phobian games. I think uh, there's a lot of progression in the team. I see there's a lot of understanding. If you watch the boys, I just have to make sure that uh, the team in second half, I think there's a little bit uh, lost of steam in terms of our side. But if our boys were able to guide their second half, I think they will play very First half, they always play very well. But second match, I mean, you find out that a little bit of downward uh, situation comes in. But if we're able to, I know the coach will look at it and be able, as he's watching the game, he has his tapes and he'll be able to correct these issues. And I know we are progressing. The boys are doing very well. The defense 
defense is okay. The strikers are coming up in as much as people will say that this is not the best of strikers. But the strikers will have none. The important thing is that they are giving us goals. So scoring four goals in a match shows that you have a, a team. We expect them to do better, keep progressing. Uh, main issue is not just to beat any other team, but to stay very, uh, to stay on top of the game, to make sure that we play good football, that at the end of the day, anybody who comes to watch the team, Accra Sofo, will be able to go home and say, look, I watched a game that was very good, a game that somebody could say that it was paying the money to come and watch. Uh, for me, I'm not just going to look at it, what is at stake or any other. For now, the, the, the road is still far, but we're moving gradually, and I believe that we'll get to the top at the end of the day. Frank Nelson is a board member of Accra Hearts of Folk. Let's turn our attention now to tennis, and the Ghana Tennis Federation is pleased with feedback it received after a successful hosting of the Magdan ITF World Tour. Over the weekend, Ghana Tennis Federation President Isaac Abwajidia spoke to the media after the event. did last year, and they were happy, and the feedback that we had from players was excellent. But this is a $15,000 tournament, and the effort we put in was amazing. But not all $50,000 do you need to provide the ball boys or linesmen. And everything was excellent, especially when it rained. The speed with which we had to clean all the course and get it ready. We were amazed that Ghana can really do it. And the feedback we had from our players, which is very important, because that's where ITS good assess us. And then from the media interactions that we sent on social media, they were very proud of it. And said that Ghana has really done that well. The future is bright. It's, it's a question of sustaining it. And thank God that other sponsors are coming on board. Because it's a $50,000 tournament for all their prize money. We need money for the organization. We brought a, a supervisor from Egypt. We had to pay him others from Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria. We don't have all of them here. So moving forward, we need to get more matches, train enough umpires so that we can have local people uh, umpiring. But for the next year or two, we need to bring them from abroad. And we need sponsors to come on board to support us. Yes, the Federation is doing a lot with youth development, but the way the player becomes a professional, he needs support to travel. Let's still stay with tennis and world number one. Novak Djokovic opened his campaign for a third Mutual Madrid Open crown on Tuesday by beating American qualifier Taylor Fritz in an impressive 6-4, 6-2 victory over 65 minutes for a place in the third round. As former world number three Stan Wawrinka broke a three-match losing streak to secure a win over French qualifier Pierre Hargis Herbert. Number one, Novak Djokovic began his Madrid Open campaign with a clash against American Taylor Fritz. The early exchanges was closely fought with Fritz matching his more illustrious opponent punch for punch. It took just a solitary break of serve for the Serb to gain the upper hand as he took the opening set by six games to four. Djokovic shifted again in the second set as Fritz was being played off the court. With his crown strokes laser sharp, Djokovic had the American on the ropes. It took just over an hour but the world number one secured a straight set victory. Three-time major winner Stanislas Wawrinka got his Madrid Open campaign up and running with a clash against Frenchman Pierre Ouz Ebe. In the first ever meeting between the two, Wawrinka wasted little time asserting his authority, breaking early en route to a three-love lead. Another break of the ABS serve saw the Swiss take the opener by six games to two in just 28 minutes. AB was a lot more composed in the second as he held serve during the initial stages. But there was no denying Vavrinka, who after breaking in the eighth, served out to secure progression to the second round. Right, that's it for sports here on News Prime. And a quick update on that game going on. Uh, the Anfield Liverpool lead Barcelona by four goals to nil. It's 4 3 on aggregate. If the results remain just as it is after 90 minutes, it's Liverpool going through at the expense of Barcelona. More, more on that a bit later at 10 pm on Fanzone. My name is Hans Mainsan. Many thanks for your time.